Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Soco de la Rosa and I'm here with another video. Um, I am doing a 34 week update on my pregnancy, um, baby number four. And wow, I have a lot of things to talk about. Like since my last video, it's been just pure craziness from not working dealing with the COVID-19 chaos, pandemic or whatever, just basically being pregnant, eight months pregnant, being at home 24 seven with my three other kids. Thank God right now, I had a little chance to do this video. They're uh, actually sleeping. And it's so, so sad what we're actually going through. It's so crazy. Like, never in a million years we would think we'll be in this. Or I would think we'll be in this situation. It's just so sad. Um, I literally don't go out to the streets like nothing. I'm just basically get up be in my house later on in the afternoon just be with my kids outside for like an hour or so but i'm used to i'm already work from home and i'm most of the time at home but when you know you're not supposed to just go out on the streets like that it's just like it feels more like nerve-wracking if i may say i don't know if it makes sense but it's like me when i used to be on diets when them when they when they used to tell you like oh just eat an apple in the morning like i used to hate apples when i was on a diet you know just because they they would tell you like eat an apple or drink water you i'll hate apples so now when they tell you like stay at home it's like i don't want to stay at home you know and I've been three weeks without working and it's driving me crazy. Like I have the urge, I miss doing nails. Like it's so, so sad. This is literally like an early maternity leave that I, I wasn't planning. Like I was planning on having everything ready, working and enjoying my baby. But this is just something that only God knows why he's doing this. And hopefully it's for a better. Um, but yes, so um, pregnancy update. I went to the doctor last Tuesday and I lost three pounds, which is weird. But also my last pregnancy, I was losing weight. And I went to the doctors on Tuesday and they told me that I was losing weight, which is weird because I'm literally eating when you're at home all day. I'm literally eating two to three hours faithfully. And it's usually every two hours, which is crazy that I lost three pounds. But, you know, um, baby is fine. She's growing. She is like four pounds pounds and a half i believe um i did ask my doctor how safe i think is one of my main concerns because i have basically five weeks left before she comes and it's just killing me that i have to go to the hospital where there's patients with the coronavirus and it's super scary, but I did ask my doctor and like how safe it is, you know, he, and he's, I mean, he told me, he's like, there's every hospital has um, people with the virus, but it's still much safer than walking around Walmart or any other store where you can easily get, you know, the, the virus. So, I mean, it makes sense. 
So I'm pretty sure they will take care of me and the baby. Um, there were points like a few weeks ago that I was just going crazy thinking that what if I have my baby at home, you know? Uh, I do have a jacuzzi in my restroom and I was like, well, let me just go ahead and have a water birth or just have it at home. But there's always this but, but what if something's not right? What if something doesn't go right? It's still pretty, you know, usually my pregnancy is on a high risk, but that what if, you know, if something happens, I mean, I know I'm at the hospital at least. So... As of right now, it's out of my mind now for sure. After I talked to my doctor, he said everything was fine. My hair looks ugly, but I just took a shower. And um, so, yeah, that's another thing. And I've been having a lot of Braxton Hicks, like a lot. It's crazy, a lot of pain down there. I think any week or any day now, she can... Um, start to get ready with her head down uh, so she can get ready to be born and also um i have a big urge on just getting my stuff ready for the hospital i don't know why but i think it's oh everything is so exhausting now everything hurts i'm literally getting no sleep what was it? This week, I think I didn't get no sleep for like three days straight. Until finally, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday that I finally got like five hours of sleep in a row. And the thing is that I don't get no sleep because my hips hurt so much. And you know, when you're pregnant, you have to be on your side. My hips hurt like crazy guys like oh my god it's not even my butt it's like on my hips on my sides both sides they hurt so much so i'm not able to just sleep on my side like it, it's killing me it's it, it's it hurts so much plus my back hurts and i have insomnia and i have restless leg syndrome dios mio it's i'm dying i'm literally dying because i don't get no rest at all and um so yes, my hips hurt a lot that I'm not able to get rest for hours straight just because I feel like when I have to turn, my hips hurt so, so much. This is something different. And oh, I have another juicy topic. So tell me why I found out like two weeks ago that I have uh, people call it pica or pica so I didn't even know this exist this really like existed guys like I didn't even know it was a thing like I've heard people crave weird stuff but I have never gone through this before never ever and what made me do this is because I was just searching to see if other people had these weird cravings that I was craving. But the thing is that it's not really, it is a craving, but not something that I want to eat. So all this time, my daughter, she's been asking me, Ma, do you have any weird cravings? And I'm like, no, right? So I have pica so what pica is is basically when a person has the craving or of a non-nutritional food and such as dirt or like chalk or like ice and stuff i don't crave chalk nor, nor dirt i do crave lots of ice but i know it's because you have a low iron and i've met people before that eat um there's like this edible chalk that you can get guys my lashes are killing me i have no lashes left oh i give it winter oh <laughs> this needs to oh my god things need to be back to normal but okay so i've known people that eat that uh edible chalk 
I guess it's like the crunchiness or like the grain. I don't know what it is. But the only thing that I crave a lot is uh, ice. I can literally eat two to three cups a day. And I like it whenever you I get the cr crushed ice from the fridge. And I leave it out for like 15-20 minutes where it gets kind of soft. And then I just eat it and eat and eat. That's one thing. And then my other main thing like that made me Google or like search is that I been freaking obsessed with pine saw the lemon scent i don't drink it i just love the smell of it oh my god and it's just that brand and it's just that scent but i just like i can't i can be sitting right now and i just want to smell it and like when i just cleaning or like in my kitchen or mopping or whatever I love it and I love to like I just love the lemony scent and it's so weird because that's the I don't I don't I don't crave like the fabuloso smell or nothing like that. That's like my main thing that made me search it. And um another thing is um brushing my teeth. So it's not the taste of it, it's more like the feeling. Like the feeling of the bristles on my gums or like that feeling that they're getting clean it's so weird so 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 weird but i love it i love it i take my time uh i just close my eyes and concentrate and brush my teeth that's a weird one too another one when i'm taking a shower the whenever you like i use on the loofah i use a uh, body wash instead of the bar soap and whenever you're cleaning it, you know, like rinsing off the the soap, that roughness of the loofah, I just love to feel it. And how crazy is that? This is just freaking ridiculous. Like, I just love the feeling of it, like the roughness. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But yes, that's pica or pica for you. Well, you just crave weird stuff and i have never ever craved this stuff before but yes now i'm literally like just lightly mopping my house two to three times a day just so i can smell the freaking pine saw i mean it's not it's not like i'm putting it up my nose or anything like that you know i don't crave it where i want to drink it because i'm not stupid like i know that this is not gonna taste like a lemonade you know, but it's just a smell. Like when I smell it, like my mouth gets watery, which is so, so, so weird. But I think it was so funny. I just wanted to share it with you guys how things have changed so much in a few weeks. But yes, guys, that's my little update. Um, hopefully, uh, I, I really want to do a baby haul. I think it's going to be my next video. Um, my last... Uh, pregnancy update I did talk about um, the baby shower which I don't think is happening now since we're at home and we can do no gatherings of more than 10 people but um, I have most of our stuff ready I think I'm like 75% done yeah I think like 75% done so I don't know I mean we, they say that the maximum that this is gonna end for uh, staying at home is gonna be April 30th. Originally, my baby shower is gonna be May 2nd. And I don't think it's gonna happen, you know, but I'm supposed to be, I'm due on May 21st. So I still have some time, but we, we I'll see what happens, you know, but as of right now, I don't think the baby shower is gonna happen. Um, but we shall see. I might do like a little gathering when everything is over, hopefully before she's here. But I mean, I have all her stuff ready. I'm just uh, like, I'm almost ready, like 75% done. Um, but yes, my next video, I'll be doing a haul. So stay tuned. And so just a little update on staying at home, on this little pica thing that I researched and I found out that I have. 
and I hope you guys enjoy stay home guys wash your hands and see you guys in my next video bye guys take care